So, if you are a beginner student who has been playing for, say, a year, maximum two years, it's hard to say, but roughly around that time range, okay, you've probably been working on uh, one octave scales, majors and minors. You know, some people are faster, some people are slower, but you know, you'll start with one octave scales. <laughs> Then what happens is you need to push your limits so you become more proficient and your technique develops. If you keep playing your one octave scales, you're not really gonna go anywhere, right? Because we have a limited range. So what you do on wind instruments, in this case the saxophone, we maximize the whole range of the saxophone starting from the tonic, which is the note you start on, okay? F major, you start at F, C major, you start on C, and so on, right? Then you go all the way up to the top of the instrument, to the highest note within the instrument, and then you, then you go all the way down to the bottom of the instrument, and then you go back to the tonic. So, in this case, if we have F major, okay, we start on F, okay, then we're gonna go all the way up to the palm keys to the, to the top F, okay. <laughs> That's the top, okay? Then after this, I'm gonna go all the way down, and this time I'm gonna pass the tonic, and I'm gonna go all the way down to B flat, because that's the lowest note that I have in the instrument, okay? So... That's the lowest possible note within the scale and on the saxophone, okay? And, and then after I've hit that low note, what do I do? I go back to the tonic, so basically I go back to the starting point. Make sense? So if you put it all together... Make sense? Okay. So, and that's how you want to play all your scales, whether they're majors or minors or, or arpeggios, it doesn't matter, okay? That's how you're going to become better because there's more stuff to play. Otherwise, it's just, you know, it will take you two seconds to, to just do one scale. It's not really taking you anywhere. Make sense? Okay. So, I've created a book. It's called Full Range Scales for saxophone, okay? And this is aimed at upper beginner, I would say, upper beginner intermediate players who have been working on their one octave scales and need to be pushed, you know, need to be challenged into more advanced territory, okay? So in this book, you'll find full range scales, arpeggios, intervals, diatonic sevens, many many things that you will need in order to you know just become better and just push your technique and become more solid on the saxophone okay check it out so if you want to bring your technique forward be sure to check out the book the link is here below in the description i'm doing a limited launch offer so be sure to check it out and let me know what you think about the book and about all the exercises have fun bye a little thing I want to point out, when you go all the way up to the palm keys, you're going to go either up to F or to F sharp, and that will depend on the scale you're doing. On F major, we're going to go up all the way up to F because there's no F sharp in the scale, and we're going to go all the way down to B flat because that's the note that we have on F. If we were playing, for example, on G major, right? Now, we would go all the way up to F sharp because that's the top note, that's the highest note we have within the scale, and we're going to go all the way down to B because that's the lowest note within the scale. We're not going to go down to B flat, but we're going to go down to the, the highest and the lowest note within the scale.